Hello everyone, this is Zeroraptor coming back at you with uh, the first ever, my first ever playthrough of No Man's Sky. Um, I've been interested in this game for quite a while. Like I, I like doing survival games like Minecraft, Raft, to an extent Valheim too. But I've always wanted to do like more sci-fi type survival games like Subnautica. Subnautica, I really enjoyed Subnautica. And I do play, I still continue to play it from time to time, but No Man's Sky is like, I've always wanted to do like a space exploration type game, and the only game that hasn't, that really comes close to that was like EVE, but EVE you're basically stuck on a spaceship pretty much all the time, all you're doing is going from like space station to space station, going to different star systems, but you don't actually like land on a planet. And Subnautica was the next step to that, but Subnautica was all mostly underwater. You didn't really go on land all that much. So No Man's Sky is pretty much the next other alternative for sci-fi survival games. And yeah, I've been following the development, not very closely, but like rather casually. So I know, I know the basic history of the development behind it. I know a lot of people like compare it to like Bethesda and, uh, and Fallout and saying how the developers like oh they promised all this stuff and they never delivered but no man's sky is, is a little different from that yes they promised a lot of stuff but they still delivered on it even though it took them a long time to get to that point so basically the lesson with no man's sky is if you're in development team don't go with a publisher just go with steam or epic games or some other like website based publishing platform instead of having a publisher market for you I mean, yeah, you'll get your game out there, but then it's like, there's all these like headaches and legalities that comes with working with a publishing company rather than self-publishing. So yeah. Um, I noticed when I first started this up, there was an option to do a VR version, and I don't have a VR set. Those are still pretty expensive sets, and my room's kind of too small for that, and I don't really have any other rooms in my house that has the space for that so okay so it's also got a creative mode like every other survival game out there normal survival I think I'll do normal yeah the inter what I noticed on the intro there is said like even though you're playing single player there's still other players that can hop into your play experience and I'm kind of curious how that works I think that would be kind of cool to have in like in raft like if you were sailing around the world and you just randomly come across other players even though you're not in multiplayer mode, that'd be kind of a cool thing to have in Raft. But I don't know how the programming of Raft would allow for that. Because I mean, if, it ha if it's possible here in No Man's Sky, then it should be possible in other games like Raft too. So, let's do normal. I want to start, you know, like bare minimum. Because survival there looks kind of a little too intense, and I'm going to be playing by myself. I don't think any of my friends are going to be playing with me. I would like it to have my friends play with me on these survival games, but it's just... They all have different work times, and it doesn't line up with my work times, because I still have a full-time job out of sight of this. So it's kind of difficult to uh, get that set up. Ooh. Hello Games Limited. That's pretty. Orongu Hotel. Good. Are these all... Like, are these names that are made by the developers, or... Are these... Star systems that people... Make up? Because it sounds like... Oh, Santa Clara Heart. Okay, that sounds like an actual, like... In-game lore name. Oh, I can move the camera around. Eh, just a little bit. Oh, okay, here we go. Mm. Have I landed? Okay. My my Tila Prime or Mitila Prime?
Oh, dang it, I landed on Hoth. Is that my portal gun? Yep, I am on Hoth. Okay. Whoa. That is amazingly smooth. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Lag is pretty bad. Can I, um... Alright. Environment status. Hostile. Perform a scan to find sodium. Scan are critically damaged. Okay. Uh... Something to find dust. Ooh, what that? Oh. Okay, so it's it's still like so that's how I mine. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let me. What this stuff? Wow, what a coinky dink that I land in the spot with a lot of ferrite dust. Okay, all right. Well, if I'm landing in the middle of a friggin' ice place, how am I supposed to build shelter fast enough to not freeze to death? Okay, this is kind of unfair. You land me on a friggin' ice planet without a proper suit to keep my temperature up. Small yellow plants. Repair multi. Okay. So I have a mining beam and a scanner. Why do I not already have life support? I landed on this planet somehow. Where's my ship? Okay, can I just go in a cave? Ah. Oh. Well, alrighty then. You throw me on freaking Hoth and you expect me to just like figure things out. I at least stick some hot springs around so I can save myself. And this. Oh, cobalt. Starship out of range. How did it come out of range? Okay, can I upgrade? Okay, how do I know what I have on me? So I just have tool, exosuit. 
Oh, this is what I have on me. So I have cobalt for hazard protection. Sodium, sodium nitrate, or as environmental shields. You want me to find sodium, but I haven't been able to find any sodium. I mean, I found some, but they're so freaking far away. Can I charge it? Oh. Okay. Okay, so far the tutorial doesn't really help. It says recharge, and I'm like, okay, how do I... Okay. Investigate surroundings. Yeah, it'd be nice that you didn't kill me before I could do that. Alright, well, I'm stuck on Hoth. Can I find a... Well, now I, I want to get to this little thing over here. Navigation basics. Oh. Hey! Hey! Are you guys landing too? Wait, did I... Okay. I want to see what this thing is. Ooh, crystal. What do you do? Oh. Okay, so I do lose stuff. But at least you can at least you can get it back. Like in Raft, when you play on normal mode, you you lose everything. And I feel that's kinda harsh. I was like, at least give me the opportunity to get stuff back instead of just like losing everything entirely. How do I analyze? I'm just mining it. Oh, is that going to come later? It's you. Is that, is that supposed to be meters or... Umlaut? I forgot what Umlaut is. <laughs> it's some sort of measurement. Nope. Oh. How far can I fly? Ow. Right then, fall damage. Hurts. Uh, what's this? Frozen tubers. Alright, I got taters. Well, I mean, aside from dying so quickly, the game's not too bad. Love to explore the features more, but gotta get this tutorial part done. Oh. Is that my... No. That's not my ship. Or someone abandoned their camp. Can I take this? Radiant Pillar BC-1. Oh. Oh. I found myself on a alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory how I got here, no sense of a before. But the ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is in a life flying out to the stars. I'll read the log. Log 425A. Unavailable. Substituting data. Exosuit. Connected. Suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. So I have amnesia. Okay. Provide space and atmosphere to fly from metal plating and hermetic steel to repair. Okay. Well, at least I can come in here to like keep myself warm. What's the 
pretty nice ship though. Repair ship engines. So my goal is to bring this ship back to operation. Ooh. I like loots. Remove damage components and scrap to open. Atlas Path V1. Living slime. Ugh. Okay. Distress beacon. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 empty. Cause sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. Fresh iteration generator. Uh. Um, sure, I'll broadcast. Anomaly is compliant, position logged. So is this like sub Subnautica? Am I gonna get rescued? Is that my goal here? Is that why other players can go into my game? Very technology module. Okay, craft metal plating. Okay. Craft. Metal plating. Oh! Okay. Got that. Okay. Uh, partial complete. Okay. Functional. What do I need to gather now? Hermetic seal. Salvage planetary chart from Discord. Cash. Okay. Okay. So. There is stuff in here. I peer inside the beacon's housing. Why can't I actually look inside? I mean, this is a 360 3D game. I should be able to, you know, grab stuff out of there instead of just doing like a descriptor kind of deal. Okay, used. Alright. Well. Oh my gosh, I have to go there? Holy crap. Can I upgrade my suit? Because apparently I'm gonna die on this planet again. Oh, offer food. Oh, I need pellets. Aww. I want a little chicken thing. Why pellets? Don't these things feed on whatever's on the planet? That makes a bit more sense to me. Ew, more loots. Why do I need materials to open this stuff? This is weird. In ingest item via suit nutrient system. So what, do I have a tube and I just like stick it in the- the tuber in the tube and go- Yeah, that's some good stuff. 
Wait, so it's negative 64 Celsius, right? So if it's going down, isn't that a good thing for me? Because that means if the numbers... If the number goes down and it's a negative, that means it's getting warmer, right? So why would it going down be like dangerous for me? It's like negative go- if the negative number is going up, then that means the temperature is dropping like severely. How come I'm not getting any like rusted metal from these? Damaged machinery. Residual goop. Well. Am I- do I get anything good from fixing those? I mean, I would assume so. Memory of the Viking. Ooh. Turpak, 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 yig, yig. The stone resonates, producing sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. I see two large aliens locked in combat. Eventually one triumphs, leaving the victim to bleed to death. With blast of strength, the vanquished alien gestures toward me. Sure, give me your knowledge. The name Viking floats in my vision, echo of the strange vision, just experience the world in this alien town and see your brain. You have learned the Viking word for Viking. So are those actually other players? That's kind of cool. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna... I may or may not see them, but knowing that they can, like, pass by, that's kind of cool. Oh! What? What hurt me? Oh. Wait, so those things, like... They can shoot stuff at me? Because those are like Venus flytraps. You would assume it's like, oh, it has to be within a certain range to hurt me. Not just- Oh! Freaking again! Wait, was it- Like, does it stick- Wait, I saw something red as I walked up to it. Was that it? Was that the thing that hurt me? Because that thing was inside of it. I was at least a few feet away from it. I don't know how that thing could have hurt me when I was not... I, or I guess I was within range. Don't mind me just exploiting your planet for resources. So if I take these dihydrogen crystals and stick them with an oxygen crystal, will I get water? Gotta love that dihydrogen oxide. Okay, I need to buy- I need to get more sodium. Save narrow. Narrow bulb. Alright, let's see what this place is. Shelter? Oh, finally! Okay. So, Hollow Archive. Six out of seven bugs corrupted, of course. No one making this recording in case leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find the ship. Log finishes, machine wars of life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic steel I need to repair my ship. Whoever was that led me here, whoever let this message pass, they found some si same situation as I do now. Awesome. Alright, what about this stuff? The 
Let me guess the words. Facium. Gut root flower. Or from the fecal matter. Yay! I get to pick up poop. Anything in here? What that? Ah, oh, plants? Okay. If I repair my ship, can I fly over here? Because it's a perfectly good couple of things of shelter that would be very useful. Ah, so there's an overheat. That's a little annoying. I just want to keep mining for days. Oh, so there's a guide here. Okay, so exosuit... The exosuit drains so quickly. Exposure to radiation, planetary toxins, extreme temperatures. Yeah, well, I got nothing but extreme temperatures. Exploring on foot. Use caves. Great crafting. Making money? What? Who am I selling to? Like, this is just info dumping. I like games that explain things to you as you go. Because like in Raft and Subnautica and all these other survival games, like what other games in general, like they tell you what you have and how it works. Here they're just throwing you right in the middle of it and just expect you to figure it out for yourself. Which I mean, yeah, that's traditional gaming. You're supposed to figure things out for yourself. Oh my god. Gosh, I killed it. I'm sorry. So can I cook that? Is that something I can process? Raw steak. Okay. Process of a nutrient processor. I need a nutrient processor? I can't just... Well, it looks- it says right there I can just eat it, but... What's that shiny? Oh. Yeah, see, it was- This thing is in the middle of that. How am I getting hurt by it? Like, I'm pretty sure I was far away from it. Oh, terrain manipulator. Wait, why do I need a terrain manipulator? What? I just want to mine this thing. Okay, where's my... Oh, sodium. Yes, thank goodness. Hi, I'm just gonna murder you. Since I don't know how to make those pellet things. I guess instead of making friends, I'm just making corpses. Goodness. Yes. Advanced laser. Oh, come on. Ugh. What is that thing? Oh, worse comes to worse, I can just die it. Whoa. What? Is that where everyone's flying to? Extract carbon stream plants and trees. Oh. I see you there. Okay, I don't understand why when I'm aiming it has that weird kickback. Dang it. I don't have any more carp. Can I punch it? Oh my gosh. Okay, so if I go into... what was it? I had to go into a building? And then I'll recharge everything? Dang it, I didn't even realize I used up all my friggin' carbon that quickly. I mean, 
guess it makes sense. I haven't really come across a lot of plant stuff here to get carbon out of. Oh, I can use Q. Well, too late now. I already headed over to this place. Come on, just let me into one building. Just let me inside something. I know I don't have any more carbon to charge. Oh wait. No, wait. I just need sodium for that. Okay. I need carbon. Wait. It says I can Q, right? so much stuff. Navigation data. Okay. Wait, where's that? There it is. Okay, shelter, shelter. Can I go inside here? Need to recharge all the things. Okay. What's in here? Why are these logs corrupted too? Oh. Oh. Well, now I have two hermetic seals. Wait. Did I come here before? Did I just somehow make my way back to this place? Wait, no, there wasn't... There was a cave nearby, but there wasn't this thing. Oh. Yeah. Okay, anything in here? No, I need a pass. Whatever that thing is. Okay. Yeah, this is a separate area. Got hydrogen, great. Kinda need carbon more. Okay, so some sort of satellite system. Guess someone built it here and just left. Ah, carbon. Yes. Condensed carbon. All right. Well, I don't know where I am. Fifty carbon. Okay. Well, at least I know I could just take down the trees. Let's deforest this already deforested area. Okay. All right. So, press. Okay, so that's how I analyze F. salt in there. But why no sodium? Can I analyze you? Oh! Ew, I like this. This is actually pretty fun. Okay, so this is pretty much Subnautica on land, or I guess Subnautica is 
No Man's Sky in the water. Okay. Nice. spot it likes being mined on. Well, it's a good thing I have a compass now. I feel like this is all basic tools that I should have to begin with. Whoa. That was... I had a weird seizure right there. Wait. Is this stuck? That was weird. I know, like, Raft doesn't give you, like, much navigation either, but... Maybe you're gonna drop me on a harsh planet. Like, at least give me something. Or make it so, like, you can't... Like, you... You can't just fall into an extreme region off the bat. Like, put me in like a more survivable area if I'm just starting out, which I literally am. I mean, yes, granted again, I died early on in Raft 2 because the learning curve in there wasn't the best either. I don't know. I'm not saying the game's bad. This is... I don't know how buggy this game was when it first launched. I mean, it's working pretty solidly. It's just some of the mechanics in here are just like... They're tolerable, but I feel like... I don't know, it could have been done differently. But, I mean, the developers got like a good amount of feedback from the players that remain loyal to this project. So I would assume that everything that's been done so far has been made in the best interest of the players. I mean, on the whole, I don't mind how things work in here. I just mind that you drop me on friggin' Hoth in an unforgiving region of the planet when I'm barely just trying to figure out how things work Almost there. Don't kill me yet, dude. I don't even know who I am. I have amnesia. Get me inside. Alright. Ooh, nice and toasty. Okay, pulse engine. Hermetic seal. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I need pure ferrite and I somehow got some dihydrogen jelly construct a portable refiner to process pure ferrite okay uh, dihydrogen jelly okay apparently I got for that Environment warning, external temperature. Alright. Refiners transform simple materials. Charge. Okay. Craft of port okay. portable refiner. I need metal plating. Okay. Access. Okay, build menu with Z. Yeah. I mean, because my 
it was situated right here. Okay. Alright, so I need a fuel inverter. Oh, well, good thing I got a bunch of carbon. Okay, now I need... What was it? Ferrite? No, oh, ferrite dust. Okay, I need... Pure ferrite. Need 50, okay. Wait, is there any way I can just, like... Oh, I can adjust. Okay, I don't want to process all of my ferrite. Gosh. Fifty. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh, have to collect it. Uh. Starship? Okay. Then I go back. Because it's nice and toasty in here. And then. Alright, can I fly yet? Okay. Oh, it's telling me to pick it up, so I do not want to leave it here. To there we go. Starship repaired. Safe flight request. Return to the ship that's supposedly mine. W to take off. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Can I, how do I wait? Oh, okay. Alright, all systems functional, seek answers among the stars. Well, I mean, I've gotten so attached to this planet. Is there like a non-frozen part of it? Ooh, whoa. Okay, I can, s I, I can see why there's a VR component to this. I kind of want to explore this place more. I mean, I guess I I scanned all there is to it, right? There's no other creatures. Well, I guess that's it. Yeah. Bye, Hoth. Wow, lagtastic. Sonoseki system. Oh, I just... I just warped to another system, huh? Okay, so this is a loading screen. Which... I guess is fine to have as a... Like, the whole like star system I was flying through earlier that was a loading screen too but I was like I can't I wish there was like a little like node or something just say like loading how much percent is loading because yeah it's nice that it doesn't look like a loading screen but I kind of want to know it is a loading screen so that would be a li having a little indicator there would easily let the player know it's like oh this is a loading screen this is not something I'm supposed to be sitting in for a while because I I didn't realize that like it's a loading screen, so I kept moving my mouse around. I was like, am I supposed to like aim for one of these planets or whatever? Oh, space to test pulse engine. Uh, uh. 
Uh, up, up, up. Okay. Oh. That's supposed to be testing. Ha. Huh. All right, incoming message. Am I going to 4546B? Answer communicator. Oh. Heh. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Coming transmission source 45. 25B. <laughs> 4925B, not 4546B. Please identify yourself. I'm. Um. Maybe it's friendly. Who knows? You are not alone. Well, obviously. Follow the. Broadcast ends as strangely as begin. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Input the coordinate data. Alert. Navigational data received. Okay, follow the coordinates, find the signals. Pulse drive with autopilot to Okay. I mean so far I'm liking this game. I kinda wish like some parts of it were a bit more involved. Oh. You feel for Tritium or Pyrite. Hold M to mine asteroids. Oh, we're going straight into Eve now. Okay. Uh, track the mysterious signal. Okay, so... Getting around, flying. Okay, W, use S to break. Oh, oh shit, to boost. Normal flight does not require fuel. Ooh, there's pirates here? Okay. Yellow, red, moon, non yellow systems require upgraded hyperdrive technology to. Okay. Analysis visor, yeah, I already got that. You already got that. Got that. Okay. Alright, so. I need to. Woo. Oh! Signal source. Okay, I need to get some. Oh, well, that's kind of fun. Oh my gosh, they sh I shot a hole in it! It's hilarious. Okay. I mean, this feels like Eve. Although I kind of like the mining in Eve better, because like... You basically attach like a mining beam to an asteroid, and you just like... You can autopilot fly around it. Stop. Stop. Yeah, because right now the... My ship is just like floating around, like literally. Yeah, I don't know how about this mining method. Oh, I got some silver. Okay. We fuel. Okay. Pulse engine. Oh. Technology recharge. Okay. Pilot towards marker, engage pull drive with space. Arriving in one minute thirty five seconds. It's a very long loading screen. It's like I'm going as fast as I can, but it doesn't seem to get any closer. Unknown planet, undiscovered. Proceed to scan. Another ice planet. Ah. Hello, El Elowinland Twelve. 
Ah, uh, why am I going to all the hoths? <laughs> Can I get to a Dagoba or a Coruscant at least? supposed to oh why well, didn't know I was supposed to land properly eh. okay well this is a good, good spot as any and here we go All right, from one frozen planet to another one. Sonoseki system, first contact. Oh. Why was that so hard to do? It was close by when I landed. Okay. Again, where am I supposed to get rusted metal? I find all this debris, but none of it's rusted. Okay, let's see what you're about. Sparking wires at the machine generate signal, tapping out its broadcast into the void, whoever left the message is long gone. Coding. So I just went on a wild goose chase. The attribute station has your protection low, no choice but to underground deployed base computer. Base computer and terrain manipulator. Oh, okay. When placed, contact universal cartograph cartographic archive to establish ownership of land. Successful registration allows the construction of base modules across any site of the user's Okay. So I need this to build a base. <laughs> okay. I see what you're doing. Get your save in the chart. Whoa. Better better rocks hit platform. Okay, so it's a save point. All right, can I scan stuff again? Yes. Really low on sodium. Which is something you don't normally hear. More tubers. Maybe I should start eating these things. I might have not died the first time if I just ate these. So I can eat it straight up, or I could refine it. So in that case, I kind of don't want to eat it right now, because I want to see what I can refine it into. Ah, love it when the scan bar blends in everything. I'm going to try to land it a little closer to that. Wait, no. I was trying to fly. No. Oh. Yeah, I press W. Okay. I'm supposed to hold it. Okay. Eh. Yeah, flying this thing is clunky Okay, where was that? It's like over here. Ugh. Yeah, Eve. Well, I am way off. Yeah. F I feel like Eve has this flying thing down a lot better in Eve Valkyrie. There it is. 
So... That thing's stuck there. I can't move it at all. Well, that's kind of lame. I mean, granted it's not too far off from where I want it to be, but... Kinda nice if it was where I actually want it to be. Oh. This is a feature I'm building, not an actual, like, thingamabobber. Two! Oh, you... Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So I need to make... All right, so I got two. All right. Okay. So now I can... Oh. Oh. So... Scan that. Yeah. So. Okay. That is not an advanced mining laser. But. That is going to be it for now. Let me get back to my ship. Okay. So that's been No Man's Sky. Took me a bit of a while to figure out how things work. It is something that's very I mean it's different from other survival games I've played which it's not bad it's just something to get used to um, so far I'm not a big fan of them just dropping me onto these really harsh environments and expecting me to gather up all these materials and then the crafting system is like it's weird because yeah you craft it from your inventory but the they say inventory, but that's your cargo. So like, I assume like, oh, exosuit, like all the stuff in there is your inventory, which is technically is, because that's where all the materials I've been gathering end up in. But no, you craft in the cargo tab. I mean, I guess it makes sense in the, in some logic, but for me, who's played like other survival games is like I'm used to having everything in just like one inventory rather than you having to craft stuff in separate tabs and then and then all these things is telling me to craft like the terrain manipulator and the scanner is like it doesn't make it clear that these are functions that I'm adding onto my my multi-tool so it made me confused like because there was that that crafting thingamabobber that I used to craft like certain materials but it's like I guess that's part of my multi-tool now because now I see this is very confusing because you have a crafting system where you can craft stuff in your inventory but there's also a separate crafting system where you had to create something to craft other stuff and it's not really clear like oh you can only craft like these kinds of materials in the inventory but it doesn't se it doesn't separate what items you craft in your inventory versus what items you craft in that crafting machine. So it's like there's it's not much a lot of clarity on that because it seems like the items are pretty much the same. You're just combining stuff into different stuff. And then again with the multi-tools like it doesn't make it clear like oh this is a functionality or it's an upgrade. Like it's just it's just say like terrain manipulator upgrade then that would make sense for me to like oh this is something that I'm adding on to my multi-tool but it just calls it terrain manipulator and I was like okay is this a separate item that I'm crafting or is it another upgrade or component that I'm adding on to my multi-tool I mean I guess in if you've been playing No Man's Sky this is all like just natural to you but for someone like me who's coming fresh from other survival games that have their own way of doing things that's very similar and this one decides to go in a very different direction but I'm like there's a logic to it but at the same time 
it feels illogical compared to other survival games. I'm gonna keep playing this game. Like this game is interesting enough for me to like. There's a lot of like the exploration aspect and the whole scanning thing, which I really love to do in Subnautica. Like going around scanning creatures and like reading up on them. Like obviously I haven't read up on them yet because I'm trying to survive here. But yeah, it's something that I'm. It's got a lot of little things that I'm very interested in, but then the mechanics of it is like it's something that I guess I'm just gonna have to get used to if I'm gonna be playing this game long term. So I guess I'll be all for now. Until next time, this is Zero Raptor signing off. Laters.